Well, you know, the, the, our assistance into the community starts when the, uh, when the, the fire starts. Uh, we, are, we are the uh, overarching agency that ensures that there's enough uh, resources, firefighters or other kinds of, of personnel or assets that are necessary to immediately combat uh, in support, we are always in support of local governments. Our role is really not not just to provide resources, but to ensure that local government uh, doesn't fail and that they have all, all that they need. Uh, and, and in doing that, saving lives and property. Um, so you know, here now uh, we we are now transitioning. While while there's still a lot of firefighting operations going on, we are already starting to look at what is the recovery going to take uh, for this community to be able to get back up on its feet and, and, and get itself moving forward again. And this is really important because, you know, we're talking about local tax base, we're talking about the vitality and, and the, the sustainability of a community. So the recovery of any kind of disaster is very important. And we need to start that process as soon as we possibly can. We, we kind of act as a broker, so to speak, a consolidator. Uh, there are a number of state or, or uh, even some other local programs. Sometimes there are federal programs like the Small Business Administration or there are grant programs. This particular disaster, while it certainly is uh, catastrophic f for uh, this community and, and it's very, very critical for the state, really is not something that the federal government would get engaged with. So we're gonna leverage programs at the state level that we can. Um, different a state agencies have programs uh, and we're gonna go uh, bring those, those agencies together and ensure under their own authorities uh, and coordinated by OES that those, those programs will be made available. Uh, soon there will be a local assistance center that's established here by the, the county and, and in that local assistance center we will have departments like Department of Motor Vehicles and the Franchise Tax Board and Department of Social Services to be able to address issues like critical records that may have been lost or uh, the need for you know um, uh, crisis counseling, um, etc. And then um, we were going to work with the county with regards to uh, kind of kind of the interim sheltering for how we're going to help the folks deal with uh, with a place to live and um, some of the, that, those critical life necessity items. And just lastly, I guess just touring it firsthand. I guess how does that help you sort of with your assessment and and what are you seeing here? Well, I mean, obviously uh, this fire is um, uh, devastating to this community. Uh, it's, uh, it's unfortunate we're, we're seeing a lot of fire activity in the state and it's far, we're seeing these kinds of events far too often um, when we're seeing the, the, the change in climate and the impact of a sixth year of drought. Um, the, uh, all of that is a cumulative effect uh, with regards to how fires uh, act when they, when they burn and th this is sort of the result of that. And um, it's, it's, you know, I'm, it's just heart wrenching to see how whole livelihoods and, and uh, people have spent their whole lives getting to what they have and they've lost it. So I feel very much in, in incumbent upon us to do everything that we can uh, um, to support the county, support the community here and get uh, Lower Lake and Lake County back all operational. It, keep in mind, we, we were here last year during the, the uh, Valley Fire and uh, you know, sort of an extension, but every, every event is, is a new event and we're gonna hit it pretty hard.